Okay, so we're starting again. So what I was doing, and I was, I was going through um, this tutorial. I'm just going back and redoing this one. Um, and this is the source code for it, and I'll show you what it does. I already copied it, so let's start the new project. So Windows, where are we at? Where are we at? General. Empty project. There we go. We're going to call this one Points. Points 1. Very exciting. Okay, is that good? Is that good? Okay, so I go source, add, new item. Gonna call it main. Shoop, shoop, doop, shoop, doop. Okay, paste that in. Have a bunch of errors. I'll figure stuff out. Okay, so we'll set it up. And here, see debug in 32, that should be fine. Or actually, let's go with release, because I don't. I haven't gotten into debugging too, too much. Too, too much. Let's see. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Uh, projects. OpenGL. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I've been in probably a week. Okay, here we go. Same thing for the libs. The libs. The libs. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Then we're going to linker. We will include all the fun stuff. Okay. Open GL32. Uh, GLFW3. Lib glue32. Soil, although we're not going to use it. Okay, and then this one, probably just like that. What's this one? Does that work? Hmm, okay. Apparently that works, uh, so save it. Let's see if that compiles, actually. Compiled? So does it run? What does it do? Oh, it works. Cool. Okay, that's very cool. Okay, so that's all it does is it draws the two triangles, and where are those two triangles right here? Set up for text data and buffers and attribute pointer. So it's not sure what that is. Okay, so top right, bottom left. So what is it doing here? Top right, bottom. That looks like only one. Am I missing something? Oh yeah, it is just one. Okay, that's fine. So let's change this and instead of drawing GL triangles, we want to draw... Uh, where is that? You know, I don't know what it's called. GL draw elements. Let's go look. Or wait, actually not draw elements. We want to use the other one. GL draw. I will figure it out. Draw. GL draw. Come on, will you type? <laughs> draw elements. There we go. Oh wait, it was right there. Oh wait, it's right here. Okay, great. <laughs> but we want to draw not elements. We want GL points. That's what we want. GL points. Go back. Go back. There we go. P O I N T S. Yes. Draw arrays. Are we doing that? Is that what we're supposed to do? Um, comment that out. GL draw arrays draw buffer draw commands draw element draw pixels draw texture 
Interesting. A lot of stuff there. Let's go with what? Arrays. Well, let's try that. Okay, so it actually did draw... Oh, there's only five of them, that's fine. Or, there's six. Uh, are there six? One, two, three, four... How come it drew... One, two, three, four, five... How come I have five? Oh, because the other ones are undefined, so they're zero. So if I actually specify four, I bet you it will just draw the right amount and not one in the center. Interesting. Yeah, so just the four. Okay, so I was reading about this, and it actually says that there is a particular thing. Okay, so how does this... Okay, the rules for rasterizing a point are quite straightforward, blah, blah, blah. The side length of the square is equal to the point size, which is a fixed state set with GL point size. Or the value written to GL point size built-in variable in the vertex tessellation or geometry shader. Okay, the value written to GL point size in the shader is used only if GL program point size is enabled. Otherwise, it's ignored and the fixed state value set with GL point size is used. And GL point size is a void and takes a float size. So let's try that. GL point size, and I bet we can just call it up here. Ah, uh, game loop. Why is that so far out there? Okay, GL point size. What do you know? Hmm. Okay. And we're just going to say the float size. Let's make them each 5.0F. Does that work? So now they should each be five pixels. Oh, that's so cool. Wait a minute. Hmm. So, okay. Um, I'm quite satisfied with that. It's a seven and a half minute video, not bad. Thank you for tuning in.